to end all snarls. Look at that. It started out to be a baby sweater and matching bonnet. You really don't believe in putting things off, do you? I guess I am sort of jumping the gun, but I wanted to make some of the baby's clothes myself. You know, Betty, I'm going to be a mother. There's a new life growing inside me. You can't imagine how that makes me feel. I think I can. Oh, Betty, I'm sorry. I guess I got carried away and I just completely forgot about... About my miscarriage. I'm the soul of tact. It's all right. I was married to Rod a long time ago. In another life. You know, Stephen's very fond of children. We're both looking forward to raising a family when, when we're more settled. You mean after the honeymoon's really over and just a couple of old marrieds like me and Norm? Well, I want to be sure that Stephen's career is solid and we're in a house of our own. You plan things ahead so sensibly. Norm and I aren't like that. I guess we figure if we put some things off, we might never get around to them. Most people would say yours is the better way. Come in. Hello. Hi. 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 Well, I think I've taken enough of your time, Rita. Oh, Betty, please don't go. Watch closely, ladies. Harrington the Great will now save the situation. This incredibly awkward situation where a formerly married couple meet by chance during visiting hours. Well, how will Harrington the Great do it? Feast your eyes upon this book. Kid's got to have a name, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, at the page 11, I, uh, I picked out a few that I thought you might like. Dexter? It means fortunate. Norm told you? Yeah, Norm told me. Was he upset? Well, he's got a right to be, doesn't he, on his first kid? But we'll see him through. Hey, Alexander. It means leader of men. How about that? Or Andrew. Brave, manly. I have one. Harold. Okay, just a second. I'll look it up. Okay, go ahead. Powerful warrior. Right. What if it's a girl? Well, uh, there were a couple that I, uh, I liked very much. Uh, Audrey, which means noble strength, and Phoebe. Uh, Phoebe, uh, shining. Uh, how about Phoebe Audrey Harrington? Shining, noble strength, Harrington. Well, it's got a lot of class. I don't know. It makes me think of a lady wrestler. <laughs> hey, how about this for a boy? John. It means the Lord graciously giveth. I like that. Well, Rita, I'd better be going. I'm oh. glad you're feeling better. Well, won't you stay, Betty? No, I'm sorry, I can't. What'd I say? Oh, well, you had no way of knowing. Before Betty and I were married, we used to talk about having family. And we liked the name John. I feel dumb. Don't, Rita, don't. I knew about Betty's miscarriage. Norm told me after we were married. I guess he shouldn't have. It was a car accident. It was my, my fault I was driving. They brought her here to this hospital. She lost the baby. Oh, Rod, how terrible for both of you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have told you, Rita, except I wanted to set you straight. I understand. You know, it's funny how clearly you can see when you look back. That's when everything started going wrong. That's when we began hurting each other. Well, didn't you ever try and put things back together? Oh, yeah, but not at the same time. Maybe if we'd known more about real love, like you and Norman. Or maybe not, I don't know. Rod, Betty's not happy. Did she tell you that? No, but I could sense something. It's funny, you think she has everything she wants, married to Stephen and living in your grandfather's house? Or maybe you're just imagining. No, I wasn't. You know, you and my brother have it pretty good, Rita. Don't let anything happen to it. Rod, I'm counting on you to keep Norm from going off the deep end if uh, things don't turn out like they should. Like if maybe you should have quintuplets. Even twins. It's a deal. I'm gonna go to Norm's now and we're gonna open a couple of cans of spaghetti. But hurry up and get well, will you? We're running out of cans. Okay. 